Ableton Live, you can extract the groove from an audio file, which is super helpful when you're trying to line up audio and MIDI, especially when you're using swung or wonky rhythms like I'm using with this kick drum rhythm. If I zoom in, you can see that these kick patterns are not lined up exactly with the grid, and I want that on purpose. Andy, he did it on purpose. However, if you're also trying to sync that up with a MIDI part, it can be a little bit tricky. You can see that the MIDI note and the kick drum are not lined up. Now I can go in and I can adjust each of these MIDI notes individually, but that's kind of a pain. So what you can do is you can extract the groove, which will detect the rhythm or groove of that audio file, and then we can apply it to the quantization on our MIDI track. So I'm going to select this kick drum pattern, right click, and go to Extract Groove. Now this opens up the Groove Pool on the left below the browser, and you can see that we've just created this new groove called Kick, which is the name of this audio region. Now I can assign that groove to this MIDI pattern. So click on your MIDI pattern, open up the clip view. Under Groove, choose the one we just created, Kick. You can hear that the kick drum is lined up with the bass, but it didn't change the actual quantization in the grid here. It's just adjusting it to the groove that we set. If you want to make it permanent and actually change the MIDI pattern, you can click on this Commit Groove button right to the right of the Hot Swap button next to Groove. And when I click that, you can see that these MIDI notes have now slightly shifted off the grid to be exactly lined up with the kick. And if I zoom in here, you can see that these out of time kicks are now lined up with the out of time MIDI and everything is playing nicely. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.